So my niece says that I live a pretty interesting life and that I should have a YouTube channel. Funny thing is that I do have a YouTube channel. I just don't post on it. And I think it's about time for that to change. Today, I'm going to shoot a, uh, a photo shoot in the middle of this uh, COVID-19 crisis. We're doing a, uh, like a socially distanced photo shoot. We're gonna be wearing masks and I'm gonna be keeping my distance well away from the other people. Uh, we're shooting a co-working space, which, um, you know, how much business are they getting these days? Who knows? Um, but I think they're hoping to try to bring some people in or uh, be ready for when this stuff reopens. The uh, problem that they had before is that um, all of their images are just of the space with no people in them. And their people that were like looking at the website or looking at their pictures don't really understand that it's a co-working space that people can come to. You know, they see vacant pictures of this space and they probably think like, oh, it's some sort of event space that you have to rent out. And so we want to dispel that. We want to share the space with some people in it so that they know, oh, this is what they do there and that I can go there and be part of it. And um, now is not the best time for that, um, you know, given the current climate, but we are gonna make the best of it and take a, a couple of shots with uh, some people interspersed throughout the space, probably wearing masks because that's what's going on in the world right now. And um, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, so we just wrapped up and it was a really great project. This is Cowork Kingston. It's a co-working space in Kingston, New York, and uh, it's owned by a friend of mine and uh, they wanted to get some shots with some people in it. And like I talked about earlier, and that's what we did. We shot uh, some people sitting at some of these desks over here and a like wide long shot down here. Uh, we didn't shoot this room because look how hot these windows are. Way too hot to shoot. We sort of just moved in a circle around the room shooting stuff. So I shot people at each of these desks right here. We shot a uh, photo of this little conference room right here. Had to fight with the light a little bit because look how bright the light is there, but these windows weren't quite so hot as you can see. So we were able to get a shot facing back there. I, popped a, I propped a flash up here and shot that from this corner right here. Then we moved on to this kitchen and then we shot a photo of two of the guys standing here in the kitchen, a little bowl of uh, fresh bagels right here and got that. And then we went up these stairs to this next little area that they have. And we shot Bethany in this nice little um, egg seat thing. And then we got a shot of Judy and Cole here having a, a meeting here in the, um, uh, what do you call it, living room area. We got lots of uh, people cleaning the place up activity post uh, photo shoot. Next shot was of the rooms right here. These are like a uh, sound insulated call boots, which are really, really nice. There's Cole rocking it, Bethany. Okay. Got all our models back there helping clean the place up. Uh, our next shot was around here in the conference room. And so pile, I went straight back into this tiny, tiny corner. This is how photography works. You always pile, put yourself way back in the corner. And we shot facing out this way. I actually really like the, um, these wire, these wires that are painted the same color as the room. That was probably one of my favorite parts of the shot. And then I saw Judy and Shay standing out there. So we posed them outside of the room and we had two people here and one person working the whiteboard over there. We continued. Um, I noticed the light was coming in really beautifully right over here. So uh, we came, I came right back here where I'm standing now to shoot this shot looking down the hallway. Really beautiful there. A lot of nice light coming in right there. And so we had people sitting at each of these desks and then I had Bethany walk down the hallway this way. Got some shots like that. And then finally, we came back to the reception area. You know, I would love to come back here when there's more time and less social distancing to get some more architectural shots. I think we got some great stuff and we moved very, very fast. It was a super efficient shoot. Uh, clients knew exactly what they wanted and we got through it very quickly. The last shot was right here, this piece of artwork in the reception area. 
and we had one where Shay was sitting here and then we did one with Cole right here and then we did one with Bethany right over here and so we got some good shots of that and uh it was only here for like uh, uh two and a half hours and uh and we wrapped up nice and quick and um it's really nice working with clients that know exactly what they want because they're like that's the shot let's go and uh appreciate that don appreciate the decisiveness Absolutely. on the images Thank you. <laughs> hey let's talk uh kit real quick because people are always curious about that here's what we use to do the shoot canon 60 mostly used the 16 to 35 did that for most of the shots did a couple of tight shots with the 50 did one shot with the 24 tilt shift which is the picture of those rooms because you see this uh this uh, wall right here. I needed to get over that wall and then bring the lens back down. So that's what I used the tilt shift for. And then on that long hallway shot with all the nice light, um, I, I didn't think I was going to use the 100, but it came in handy there. And so used the whole kit. Didn't use this little flash diffuser. Used the flash in a couple of shots. Was hoping to avoid using it, but it became necessary. Tripod in every shot. And uh, cam ranger. Yeah, what's going on over here? Sure, I'll take one. Oh, no, no, more tote bags on, no. Let's, let's show off, yeah, yeah, the hand sanitizer. That's the most important part of a shoot right here. <laughs> show off your swag. Let's, let's see the swag you just got. I love free things. Oh, yeah, free things. There you go. Excellent. So here are all our uh, models who participated in the shoot, including Bogey right there, making it beautiful. And uh, all of them were great, excellent models. Really good work today.